hello everybody welcome back to another video i'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day so uh today's video is going to be a uh, june july august kind of like a summer and fallout like what what's to come in terms of temperature this won't be really my own forecast like this won't be my own uh designed map i'll be using the climate prediction center as i am leaving and literally like tomorrow for my vacation thing and it's it's kind of a long trip so i need to be prepared so i will not be recording a video tomorrow or for the next 17 days so yeah today's the last day to record these videos um i might also record today a video if you want uh me to you know explain what if a june or july and august are cool which are forecasted to be uh, you know, what will the impacts be on winter possibly uh, historically? So if you want a video, I'll upload that today later on in the afternoon Just let me know if you're watching this video right now in the comment section box below Also, if you're watching this right now consider subscribing it is uh, very uh, useful for me And it tells me that you guys enjoy it if you if I don't get subscribers It tells me that I um, should probably switch up my video ideas or something like that. So uh, again, if you like it consider so, again, this is a three-month outlook kind of, I, I don't really know what the title of this video is going to be. It's something, just an outlook video about the next, about the summer and fall, if you will. So, um, you can see, this. I think they came out with this not uh, quite a bit of time ago. Yeah, 16th of May. Um, but the Weather Channel just made one four hours ago, I think. So, I just decided to make one right now. So, June, July, and August, you could see East Coast warm, West Coast warm. Again, Will this be 100% right? No. Um, I sometimes, you know, these pattern, uh, these the Climate Prediction Center, the people that predict these things, they they're not perfect either. They're just trying their best. It probably will be something along, you know, the lines that the West Coast and East Coast will be warmer while the Central U.S. will be cooler. But where this zone sets up could be, you know, shifted even 200 miles either direction, north, south, east, west, and uh, we. Rarely happens, but sometimes we might even get a pattern where this completely flips around. So, you know, that, that could happen, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um, in terms of uh, the precipitation, you could see above average, uh, especially across the western part of the country. But, you know, obviously the confidence is low since this is a three-month outlook. There won't be extremely high confidence in either zone. But uh, it tells you the zones where there are higher confidence, so that's more likely to be um, above average or warmer or cooler. So you can see the states that are cooler are um, like Iowa, South Dakota, Minnesota, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Northern Missouri. Those locations are seem uh, seem to be li slight, likely below average. Um, that doesn't mean that you know your summer will be cold. It's just a little bit cooler than average, which the averages say in Nebraska. I don't know. I I'm making this up. I have no idea what the average in Nebraska is. I'm assuming it's around like 87, 88. Um, and it depends in which state, part of Nebraska also. But say central Nebraska, 88 degrees is your average for, a, uh, you know, for mid-July, you'll maybe be seeing like lower 80s. Um, a little bit cooler, you know. Uh, it doesn't mean that you won't see heat waves. I think there will still be several days in the 90s, just less than average. Uh, let's go into July, August, September, and you can see uh, now the warm is kind of like caving in, and this this cold is almost looks like it's dying away, and uh, like this warm is just surrounding it. <clears throat> it's just this warmth is just you know engulfing it. So uh, still though, that same area that was likely to be below average is now uh, slightly likely. So. Um, at this point, it seems like uh, July, August, September will be m warm for most of the country, even, uh, you know, this is equal chances is white. Should have probably said that earlier, but equal chances or white means that you could go either way. It could be a below average, so this could all be blue, could be all red, warm. And uh, it's, it really depends on how the actual pattern sets up, and when we, uh, and, uh, when we come, you know, towards into time, what actually occurs and what uh, historical patterns start shaping up. As far as this far out, I mean, this is for August mainly, um, but also a little bit of July and September. This is a very far out. And uh, let's go to August, September, October. I won't be going really further after this, um, but actually I will go one month after this, or one outlook after this. You can see, uh, the, again, the cold air is going away and the warm is coming back. Is this going to be right? Is this going to be, you know, accurate? We don't know. I'm assuming that this will um, have some truth to it. Um, you know, I'm taking it at this point with that type of attitude, but it could definitely change. It could definitely change. And you could see by September, October, November, it's all warm across most of the country. And this is always a reoccurring pattern with the Climate Prediction Center, which I don't like because it seems to be 
almost biased that towards the winter months it's always um always warm and i i you know i i've been doing this for a very long time and i not even doing the, this weather channel i've been like into weather for basically my whole life which again isn't long my life is only 16 years but uh i've been looking at the climate prediction center since i was a little kid because this was the only source that i knew of that was actually you no know, accurate or at least i thought it was accurate it was NOAA, so national weather service so this could this needs to be accurate well again obviously they're not uh, horrible but they're not uh you know they all uh, obviously have their flaws as well and this is probably one of their flaws they always tend to have a warm bias towards the winter months and uh towards spring and summer they have a cool bias but but i'm not saying that that's not going to happen i'm just saying uh, something worthy to point out if we look at uh, the temperature outlook for june this is the weather channel so they are supposed to be different from a climate prediction center but yeah basically a similar thing they have a little bit of the below average a little bit uh, bigger area and they have it across the areas in uh, across the, more of the west if you compare it to a uh, june july august so this forecast you could see it's this one's more centered and not as wide while this one is more um to a uh i don't know how i say this my cat's jumping off here so i apologize if there's a noise um but he's jumping off the window which i'm right next to and uh it's more of a uh, negative axis or sorry positive positive x uh, positive tilt that's what i meant to say positive tilt compared to what uh, the uh, this one is more of a uh, just vertical uh, drop you can see so um uh, I wanted to show you a couple more things. Uh, let's just look at the the GFS tropical tidbits because uh, it's a little bit showing based on the, the, the GFS. It's kind of hinting at what the you know what the Climate Prediction Center is saying with the cooler weather and the weather channel for June. So let's go to no, let's go to anomaly so that really shows us where it's above or below average. Um, Definitely no heat wave at this point for the mid part of the country, or at least um, the Midwest, maybe a little bit towards um, Kansas and Nebraska, but they usually get warm. Um, but you could see a little bit warmer temperatures mixed with some cooler, nothing to zone about or, you know, talk about that much. Notice how it's fairly, though, above average across the Northwest. We might need to watch that. But again, at this point, I'll be June 1st. I will not be, even if like a hurricane, major hurricane happens when I'm gone, which probably won't it's the beginning of june um i won't be able to cover it because there's literally no wi-fi where i'm going which is fine because honestly that's kind of good you get to get to get away from that um it's a completely different experience and i think i will actually really enjoy that experience with no wi-fi and everything so i'm really looking forward to it and i'm excited but i'm also gonna miss you guys i'm not gonna lie i actually will miss you but whatever i'm not you know i'm not going for like a year so uh i will be guarantee you back uh, June 18th or 19th. So you can see that uh, a little lobe of cooler air comes in June 3rd, and this is kind of what they're hinting at with the uh, with the Climate Prediction Center. They're sh showing that these waves of cooler air, shitting on that, these like lobes of cooler air, not Arctic air, but fairly nice little outbreak. I mean, if this was in the winter time, it would be fairly chilly, uh, fairly cold. This definitely will bring some chillier temperatures. Uh, those could be repeating itself throughout the summer, bringing some of those temperatures down. But you can see definitely some warm days also during June, so nothing uh, remarkable remarkably cold or uh, outstanding maybe you know the, across the east and west coast there's gonna be some uh, warmer temperatures but I'm not too concerned I'm not too concerned I'm not too confident about that because look right here in Northwest fairly chilly at this time um, June 8th this is the newest model run and only goes out to 222 hours let's go to the older one but still showing that cold temperatures across that west and look they said abo above average so I, you know, again, that's already one thing, but it's just the GFS. It could definitely be a little bit wrong. But then, look, it moves on into the Midwest and stays here warm. But then uh, you can see how it, um, it stays in the Midwest cooler. So that could also be another, um, you know, factor why they put that colder in the, in the central part of the country. So, uh, again, if you want me to make a video on if June will be cold, so I'm just making this title up right now, probably will be different, but if June is cold what or like what impacts will have on winter or fall in terms of temperature and even precip so uh please comment in the comment section box below because i make these videos for you and i make these videos based on your liking so if you like these type of videos um if you want me to make that video idea that i just proposed leave it in the comment box below if i get enough like yes please do it then i will definitely leave one today um you know give you one guys and though otherwise uh 
Okay, well, uh, I just realized that um, it went over a little bit over 10 minutes on accident. Well, I just wanted to say um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya. Bye.